All right, we're making roux, and we've gotten this one all the way to the start of the chocolate roux stages. Think of a really rich, thick, hot chocolate. See where we are? Isn't that beautiful? And the smell is unbelievable. Now, a roux is nothing more than a mix of oil and flour in equal proportions. Well, actually, you know what? You can tweak it more or less, however you like it. I actually like it a little more flour than oil, but in this case, I've just done the traditional 1-1 ratio, or 50-50, or however you want to list it. Now, the trick with the roux, don't stop stirring, especially when it gets to this stage. And if you've seen the other videos, I had a second one going over here. I've actually turned him all the way down so I can concentrate on this one now, because this is where it really gets tricky. Now, the only tricky part is to not stop stirring. Now, you use a roux as the base for soups and stews and, and sauces, and this one is going to go in a traditional, well, semi-traditional Cajun gumbo. I've got shrimp and crawfish and sausages in the, in the fridge, and that's what this one's going to go for. This is what gives that distinctive and unmistakable mm in the background of a really good gumbo or etouffee. This is that nutty, luscious, rich, deep flavor. Well worth a little time and effort to make it. So if you're making a chocolate roux, this is what you want to look for. It literally simply refers to the color. You have to cook it low and slow for a good long time. I like to use cast iron. And I'm actually probably going to take this one just another stage or two darker. So if you want to see what a dark chocolate or brick roux looks like, come back and I'll show you next time.